Hello, everyone. Welcome to today's episode of The Big Brain Freeze, our bracket trivia competition where each question wrong means one ice cube closer to a brain freeze. Do our participants have a big brain? Today, we're quizzing our semi-finalists, Caitlin, Matan, and Josh, on the Marvel Cinematic Universe. If you've been here before, you know how this works. We'll be asking general questions with 30 seconds for each participant to answer, then rapid fire questions with only 10 seconds to answer. If they don't answer, or if they get it wrong, they must put ice in their mouth and get one step closer to a big brain freeze. Whoever loses here will not go on to the final, and the two left standing will go head to head. Uh, we're going to go in a set order. I'm going to ask Josh, Matan, and then Caitlin questions. Are we all feeling ready? I thought this was Star Wars. Yeah. yeah. Well, I thought we were doing the. We were. <laughs> I thought Yikes. this was Star Wars. Awesome. Great. I'm not. Same thing. Out. It's the same thing. It looks <laughs> ready. Reppin. Josh, you're first. You ready? Yep. Okay. <laughs> In Iron Man 2, what fake name does Black Widow use when she first meets Tony Stark? Jeez. Jeez Louise, huh? I've seen Jeez Iron Louise. Man 2 once. In theaters, <laughs> I don't know. I'm just gonna, I'm gonna take an ice cube right here. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> so, I, rem I remember the scene. I remember that it's like when she goes and meets him, and they do the little boxing ring thing. Yeah. D no one remembers her name. Absolutely not. Absolutely. All right. That's not her real name, isn't it? It, it is. That, it is. That's Caitlin. that's all I remember. I don't know what it is. Okay. All right. It's Natalie Rushman. So there's no point for Josh. Natalie uh, good, Rushman. Good take in the L. It's close. Natasha Romanov, Natalie yeah, Rushman. Yeah, yeah, you're right. Yeah, I, mean, I knew it was close. I couldn't tell you All what right. it was, though. Next is Matan. In Captain America, the first Avenger, okay. where does Peggy tell Steve she wants to meet him for a dance right oh. before he plunges into the ice? I knew, I knew, I wish, I wish she'd asked me what they were going to do. I knew it was dance. Yeah. Um, Everyone knows it's dance. Uh, um... Um, um, not in the ice. Uh, are you <laughs> just for yeah. the L. It is the Stork Club. Wow. The name of the club. No, no All right, fan. Caitlin, you are next. In Thor the Dark World, <laughs> where do Sif and Volstag hide the reality stone at the end of the movie? Oh, with the collector. Yes! yes! Wow! Wow! I was so nervous. I've seen that movie once in theaters. Mm. That, that's because it's in it's in um it's in War. Yeah. Nice. Yep. All right. We're back to Josh. In Guardians of the Galaxy, what were the three items Rocket claims he needs in order to escape the prison? Okay. He needs uh shit. He <laughs> needs um he needs a battery. Uh <laughs> This is true. This is true. It's a battery. You're he, third of the way there. Here's the thing. I know. I know battery in that guy's leg. No, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh. That's two out of three. You have ten seconds. Oh. Yeah. Battery in that guy's leg. Um. I'll give you half a point. I'll give you. Ah, uh, it's fine. It, time. It, yeah. it is now time. So it was a security band, a uh, batter, and a prosthetic uh, leg. Okay. Well, you, we'll, we'll give you half a point. That was two out of three. Okay. Two thirds of one. I'm going to put. Yeah, fair. I uh, that was tough. All Matan. I remember is that guy's leg. That oh, guy's yeah. leg. I mean, that's important. Right. Uh, Matan, in Ant Man, what animal does Darren Cross unsuccessfully shrink? Um. Mm. Unsuccessfully shrink? Uh-huh. Uh... I, I have absolutely no recollection of this scene. That's okay. Take an ice. It is a sheep. Oh, yeah. Okay. I wouldn't have gotten that. That's okay. Oh. Uh, Caitlin, in Black Panther, what do Killmonger and Claw steal from the Museum of Great Britain? Uh, the vibranium, and it was, was it just the vibranium? It, 
There was something else too, yeah? I don't know. And a mask, was it? Oh, you got it! Cam, Cam's in the easy ones. Cam's I, in the I, easy ones. I really haven't known any of your guys's. I've only known mine. Yeah, I've only known yours too. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Josh. In Spider-Man Homecoming, who does Stan Lee appear as? Uh, bus driver, right? Bus driver, I don't know. Nope. I don't, I don't know. Try again? Nope. Okay. Because I don't remember. I think he's a bus driver in Infinity War. Yeah, I think yeah. so. Uh, a neighbor disturbed by a car alarm. Um, yeah, see, I don't remember that one. Yeah. That's okay. Happens. Uh, Matan. Yeah. Lurkins from Captain Marvel are uh -huh. these extremely dangerous aliens that resemble what creature on Earth? Cats. Yes. First point from Matan. Yes. Woo! Caitlin, what chemical do the Avengers use to travel in time in Avengers Endgame? Oh, what chemical? Oh no. Um. I remember the scene of them talking about it. I don't think I know this one. The time stone. Technically. <laughs> I mean. <laughs> Chemical. No. Um, final answer? You have 10 seconds. I, I, don't, I don't know it. Okay. Pin particles. Right, oh. right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was on the tip of my tongue. Yeah, yeah. I knew it had something to do with that, Ant-Man, but... Yeah. It's okay. You're close enough. That's right. Um, Did you Josh? use kind of, technically? <laughs> you two kind of, but it's the Infinity Stone, like a chemical. Yeah. Uh, Josh, in Ant-Man, where does Scott Lang work after being released from prison? Ashton Robin. Yeah. <laughs> Josh's first point. I remember um, that one. Matan. Which eye does Thor lose? Um. You got a 50 50. <laughs> he do. Yeah, That's he loses. Sure. His middle eye. His left eye. Right? <laughs> that is correct. Yeah. I, was gonna say, I think it's his left. That is correct. Uh, Caitlin, how did Peter Quill's mother die? Oh, no. Um, she was killed <laughs> by. <laughs> <laughs> Technically, <laughs> by. By death, Adriana. By death. Death killed her. Do... We saw the scene where death came and touched her. <laughs> do either of you guys know the answer? I do. I do. Yeah, go for it, what's up? Cancer. Yep. Ah. Uh... It's all right. Good try. Good try. All right. Wait, 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 oh. wait. Doesn't wait. Doesn't the mom die because of the father gave her cancer? Yeah. I was gonna say the father. Dang it. <laughs> yeah. I mean... Anna just said she was killed. I would have accepted killed by cancer, killed by the dad. I would have been good. <laughs> but neither. I should have said it. Thank you, Gary. Mm -hmm. yeah, you win some. You lose some. Yeah. I was Josh. Thinking, no, is that right? No. Damn. Ah. That's right. Josh, who is the voice of Baby Groot? Vin Diesel, right? Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Matan, how many awards did Black Panther win at the Oscars? One. Is that your final answer? No. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, yeah. You just have to give a number Two. and like, lock it. Two okay. final answer. No. Anyone else know? Eight. Three. Three. <laughs> Three. It was random guess. Yeah, I know and that it was nominated for Best Picture and didn't it win. It was original score, costume design, and production design. You know what? Those all, I think it deserves all of those. Those all, I mean, I forget the competition, but that makes sense to me. Yeah. Caitlin, which MCU director has also appeared in multiple MCU movies? I'm gonna go with James Gunn, but I'm not sure if that's right. No. John Favreau as Happy oh. Hogan. I was oh, gonna say. I forgot uh, he directed some. Dang. Yeah. I feel like TT has also. He was Korg, so he's been in a couple. It's true. Oh, yeah, yeah. you're right. Duh, I should have said that one. I, I wasn't one. thinking of that, yeah. but I would have accepted it. I just, I really love John Favreau. John Favreau's great, great. Yeah, he's a great chef. He's awesome. <laughs> yeah. yeah. All right, uh, now we're going on to the. Quick fire round. Gary, can we get a score? 
Currently, the score stands as Josh, 2.5, Matan, 2, Caitlin, 2. It is anyone's game. It is 2.5. Wow, that 0.5 is like what makes or breaks it. Wow. Here we go. All right, um, this is gonna be fucking hard. I made all of them quick fire and hard, so rest in peace with you guys. You've got 10 seconds to answer the total. question. 10 seconds total, okay. 10 seconds. Gosh, what sequence of words in English activates the Winter Soldier? Oh, oh boy. boy. Oh, dang. I'm just gonna use all 10 seconds going on, dip. <sighs> oh. What the, uh, what? Oh, shit. I'll tell you one thing Time. that makes you do Winter Soldier. Put an ice in your mouth. <laughs> yeah. oh. Can you tell us? Answer, I can tell you. It was Longing, Rusted, Furnace, Daybreak, 17, Benign, 9, Homecoming, 1, and Freight Car. I knew Freight Car. That's the only one Freight I Freight Car was one. Um, this one, if you had gotten like half of them, so, I probably yeah. would have given it Yeah, to I wouldn't have been. If Josh had gotten half, easily give him a point. Yeah. Of course. <laughs> um, Matan, what was Wanda Maximoff's brother's first name? Oh, Pietro. I know this one. Pietro. They just said it. Yep. Dang it. They just said it in WandaVision. Yep. Oh, I'm not watching WandaVision right now. <sighs> so good on you for doing your homework. Mm -hmm. Caitlin. Who is on the lunchbox that Captain Marvel hides the Tesseract in? Oh god, I feel like Captain America is the only choice it could be. Is that your final answer? Not Captain America. I guess it's my final answer. I don't know who The answer is Carol Danvers. Oh. What? Wait, Carol Danvers is on the lunchbox? Yep. Huh. I know, every time. Captain America would have been cool. That was a good, that was a really good guess. Yeah. Um, Josh, <laughs> what comedic TV show has made multiple cameo appearances in Marvel movies directed by the Russo brothers? Or I think what? I know, I think, can I, <laughs> uh, yeah. No, not until Josh's time is over. I don't, I don't know. Time. No. Arrested development. Oh, okay. That was not what I was going to say. Okay. Yeah. I was going to... Yeah. Well, yeah. yeah. I just don't remember that at all. That's okay. <laughs> <laughs> of course. This supposed to be hard. Yeah. Um, Matan. Yeah. What school does Tony Stark speak at in Captain America Civil War? MIT. Yes! yes. Wow. All right. Caitlin, this is a true or false. Pepper Potts' first name is Penelope. I don't know. Um, I have a 50 50. Uh, yeah. False. Correct. Her first name is actually Patricia. Huh. Mm. Josh. Yeah. What iconic literary detective was played by two different MCU stars? Matan. <laughs> You're like, oh. I don't think I understand, but maybe it's just because my teeth hurt. <laughs> <laughs> you have a brain freeze. Woo. Um. Oh, what? Time. <laughs> that's fine. Yeah. Sherlock Holmes, mm -hmm. played by both Benedict Cumberbatch, aka Doctor Strange, and Robert Downey Jr., Jr., aka Iron Man. Oh, see, you threw me off. I was like, what? What Marvel <laughs> movie is this? I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> yeah, I also was thinking Marvel movie. I was like, what? It's just played by those stars. Yeah. yeah. That makes sense. Um, my time on. What famous actor portrayed Loki in the fictional stage play about his life? Matt Damon. Yes. <laughs> and Caitlin, last question. I apologize. What does S.H.I.E.L.D. stand for? That's a tough one. <laughs> That's a tough one. Lord Hydra, electric, uh, engineer. No, wait. Yes, I'll do engineer instead of electric. It... Time. That's okay. You tried. I admire that. SHIELD stands for Strategic Homeland Intervention Enforcement and Logistics Division. What's hard about the, like, SHIELD and, and SWORD in the MCU is, like, they very clearly wanted it to stand, yeah. to spell out, you know, sword. Yeah. Um, so they fudge a little bit. Yeah. How are you feeling? Anyone have a brain freeze? I'm just trying to not knock my teeth out. 
I am so <laughs> sorry, Josh. Yeah, I'm feeling a little numb. <sighs> I'm feeling fine, Adriana. You feeling good? You feeling, feeling confident? Great. Yeah, Maton, you've killed it in that last round. I'm angry. <laughs> He did. I don't. I guess I don't know Matan well enough, and like what his favorites are. All right, and so we're gonna do. Um, I'm gonna try like a Dancing with the Stars style elimination process. We're gonna go the first person that is safe. I don't know. Much on. <laughs> the person going home will not be in the Big Brain Free Season One finale. Is Josh. Oh well. Oh no. The score was Matan five, Caitlin three, and Josh two and a half. It was wow. really close. Oh my Oof. gosh. Oof. Congratulations, Oof. you guys. <laughs> You've all done it. That was an incredibly hard and quick trivia round. I'm proud of you all. The last, the last round was very hard. It was very hard. In the comments, let us know if I got something wrong. Do an yeah. um actually at me. Tell me other possible answers. Uh, who should have gone home? Caitlin? <laughs> Josh? A for effort? I don't know. Stay tuned for our next episode, the finale, where Caitlin and Matan go head to head. Woohoo!